Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We are here in our monstrous field one. Down to our last two passes, finally. Um, I think it took a little over an hour so far to do this field. I guess I didn't really keep track. Um... Our versatile is beeping at us. We are starting to get low on fuel, but thankfully we are near the finish of this field, so we aren't going to have to worry about it too much. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and today we're going to get some stuff taken care of. We're going to finish off this field, and then we got to clean up some equipment. We're going to get things put back where they go and get some other things ready to uh, go for winter um, for us to sell some of our grain move some snow things things of that sort Perfect. So, thankfully, we are finally almost done. So now our only two fields that we have to do anything with are uh, fields 9 and 10, our other two new fields. Those are the only ones that are going to need any fertilizer. Um, well, any major amount of fertilizer, I should say. Uh, 50... Field 50 back there might need a little bit, but nothing too major like what uh, fields 9 and 10 there are probably going to need. And we're at the end. Perfect, so we can pick that up, shut it down, get this folded up. We're going to shut our GPS off, and we are going to get this guy taken into the yard. First things first, uh, we got to clean up the uh, Great Plains field cultivator there so we can get that out of our way so we can pull this setup uh, up to the pressure washer so we can get it all cleaned up. And then we got to get that field cultivator along with our other items put back into that shed and then we're also going to pull the auger out of there that little meridian we're gonna pull that guy out and because uh, we're gonna need that this uh, winter so we want to put that up in our heated shop so that way it is ready to rock and roll and then we're probably going to also pull the uh, International in the back of the shop. We have some work we need to do on that this winter. So let's start off. We're going to get this thing cleaned up. And then once we get our 47 hooked up, we're going to go ahead and get the repair uh, work done on this. That is cleaned up. Now we can get this guy spun around and hooked up. We also got to put fuel in this tractor before we uh, put it away. This one is down to 22%. Oh, whoa. All right. Calm down there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take care of the repair part. We're going to leave the repainting uh, for now. We will take care of that later on. Now, we're going to see if we can back this back into its spot without hitting anything. <clears throat> Mainly 
just the two items, our uh, chisel and our spreader there. We're getting pretty close to that spreader, so let's go ahead and kind of move it out a little bit. Perfect. We'll straighten it out, and then I think she's good to go. Perfect. That'll work right there. We'll get that in. Now we'll come over here and we'll grab our corn planter. Get this tucked in there. gotten a little too close. Maybe not. Okay, we'll back this guy in. Oh. Bumping keys here. So we want to get this close to There we go that'll work right there maybe all the way back we can come back just a hair more so let's go ahead and do that that should work all right and give me one moment here all right we're back had to take a phone call all right last thing to put in is going to be our sprayer and then we'll go ahead and pull that auger out and we'll get it uh, pulled over into the shop so I can kind of see a little bit better. I don't think this building has any lights in it that I'm aware of. All right, that'll work right there. Now we'll grab this auger and get that out. Okay, we're going to run this over to our heated shop here. And we're going to tuck it in that back corner so that way we can get to our snow blower yet. Because that also needs to come out. So today might be a little bit shorter of a video just because we're kind of just doing some odds and ends clean up and uh, prep work okay let's hook this on to the snow blower here and get everything hooked up and then we're gonna run and top off the fuel in this tractor quick So we'll get this topped off and then we'll go ahead and we'll get our truck put back in the shop or our well we'll get our hopper trailer put into cold storage and then the truck backed into the Quonset and then we can go ahead and get our versatile squared away. That'll work right there. Perfect. So we can leave that guy, we can shut that door. Since this guy is over here running and is getting low on diesel, we'll go ahead and take care of this thing first. All right, let's hope that our hose can reach everything here.
Okay, there's that. Would be neat if uh, they made the washing a little more realistic. Where you actually had to sit here and go over everything and all that. Would be definitely a neat uh, thing to have. Neat feature, but... We can only expect so much. Alright, now let's get our damages repaired here. Perfect. Okay, and we're going to spin this guy around so we can get it over and get it parked. And then we'll pull this up to <coughs> the fuel tank. And uh, while it fills fuel, we'll move our semi. Just go around the back side of the bin here since our truck's kind of in our way. Ooh, maybe I should not have gone this way. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> okay, I did not realize it dropped right there. Uh -huh. Maybe I should have looked into that a little more. But, oh well, I guess. It is what it is. Okay, get that guy dropped. Let's pull this guy up to the tank. Now we need this guy. And we'll get him backed in right there next to the sprayer and planter. Get this truck put into the back of the Quonset. Oh, shoot. And we need to pull that International out yet as well. So we can uh, start getting those repairs made on that. All right. That's the last thing to come in or out. Go ahead and close up these doors. And we are officially done with field work. We're done in the cold storage building with all that equipment until spring. We are getting things wrapped up finally for the year. Actually, I take that back. We are not done in that shed. We will need to pull our hopper trailer out. But, that can wait until when we actually need it. Alright. This big giant is done for the year. Now we're going to get this guy out of here. And, uh, we're going to pull him up over here. Because we need to tuck it away. we got to hurry up. We don't want to lose all of our antifreeze in it. If we can help it. Alright, let's get this thing backed in here. We're going to go ahead and... Tuck it away. Perfect. And I am not too sure as to just why this thing does not want to work. I have them on the outside. Oops. And super strength is still on. Let's shut that off. All right, that guy's tucked away. We'll work on him over the winter. We can get this pulled in. And we...
we apparently have a deer running directly through our building. All right. And we have everything squared away. So we can go ahead and pull this guy up to actually while we're at it let's go ahead and get a couple of header trailers because we are going to need them um, header trailers there we go let's see let's see let's see let's go with probably uh, I think that's one size too big so I think we can do this one All right, we're going to take these guys and we're gonna tuck them along the trees here. I think these should work, should be about the right size. So we're going to do this quick and then we are done until when it's time to sell grain. Well, we'll have to move some snow beforehand, but you guys get the point. So we're gonna set that one there, and then we'll worry about putting headers on next year we aren't really in need of it right now so I'm not too concerned with uh, loading them and we might even be adjusting how how and where they're sitting uh, at a later time uh, I mean we can use our skid steer for it so This guy can get unhooked here. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to go park the pickup, and we're going to call it a day. Probably a bit of a shorter video, but we don't have all that much going on today. A little bit of finishing up and getting things squared away. All righty, guys. That's going to do it. Uh, <laughs> we have successfully made it through a year. All we got left is selling some grain. So, thanks everybody for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll probably be pushing some snow and maybe hauling some grain. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all later.